our government or our schools were not able to implement it in true spirit and a lacuna was always seen in the education system the students were not developing overall there was a uh, an emphasis on the on the academics and the sports but the co curricular other activities were not given that much importance now in new education policy the students overall development or holistic development that is 360 degree development is given emphasis of now this overall development means the co curricular activity or the sports activity are given equal importance as that of the academics if a student is not so good in academics and he is very good in sports or very good in art or painting he should be given equal importance and he should be treated as getting equal opportunity in life if he is not academically that much strong but he has a good painting skill so skill development is also given importance in the new education policy and the skill courses are offered in our vidyalaya the jnvs from 6th onwards 6th class onwards we are having skill courses we are having handicrafts we are having art and we are having artificial intelligence we are having other school skill courses in navodaya vidyalayas now the new education policy focuses on skill because they want the child to grow up and get some job and earn some livelihood it's not just uh, uh, for the sake of getting marks and just not for the sake of uh, getting degrees it is the livelihood which must be given importance because ultimately the child should grow up and be prepared to cope up to settle up in the society and for that he should get a job also so if he gets a skill he has a skill then he can go, get a job easily the overall development is called holistic development that means and he should get an opportunity and he should feel at home and the learning and teaching uh, should be uh, in a holistic way that means the student should not feel hesitated to ask a question from his teacher and the teacher should engage each and every student whether they are weak learners or supportive learners or the bright students the teacher should take care of each and every student in the class the students who are bright learners should be given some extra questions so that he may not get uh, means uh, he may not get uh, used to that uh, 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 that is not so good questions you can say that uh, that is not up to the mark that means uh, he should get extra questions to for practice uh, and all the students uh, the the weak students should also get some kind of questions which are uh, which he is able to solve so that means all the students should feel that they are the part of the class and they are not out of it and this is the Uh, means the uh, main aim of the education policy and because of this and the government also wants to increase the gross enrollment ratio and it will increase because the child will feel at home the child will feel good while studying the child will learn by going outside the child will see that there are bagless days also there are five bagless days in school and five bagless days during vacations so he will feel that i am learning by fun i am not uh, making it a burden it is not a burden on me to learn something it's a means fun activity by which i can learn so this is the way and this is the main focus of the uh, new education policy that the student should feel that he should learn not the teacher should feel that my student should learn the student should himself feel that i have to learn something new so these are the things which the new education policy focuses on i